do you think uh, there are other elements uh, at play? Because we are trying to understand this whole uh, the opportunity which this country had back in 2019, because it was at that time defeating uh, nefarious agendas which was coming from various points around the world mm. into Sri Lanka. And we came to a point where we managed to take control of our own narrative rather than be subjected to someone else. Mm -hmm. um, and and Gotabe Rajapaksa, uh, the former president, was a symbol of that. Mm. Uh, but here we see people like you who have been fighting for, uh, for more than now 50 years mm. uh, in order to keep Sri Lanka as Sri Lanka mm. and not seconded to another nation mm. or another agenda. Mm. Your, how did you find it? Because a lot of people who supported him does not know what happened. A lot of people who came and, and said, okay, this is the man who is going to take Sri Lanka to the next level, don't know what happened. There was no address to the nation when he was leaving the country or fleeing the country. Uh, there was nothing afterwards to say, I mean, people can understand if you can't do your job, you can always say, I'm sorry, I can't and leave it in a, in a, in a very respectable manner. Mm. We didn't see that. What do you think went wrong? It requires uh, analysis. Uh, it is not Gotabia alone. It is the conjuncture of several political and economic uh, issues that converged. Uh, if I were to put it in a very brief, uh, in a brief statement, it was uh, uh, what you call a distortion. It was a distortion of the democratic framework on the one hand. On the other hand, because Basil began to control everything, then it became also uh, economic reversal. Then thirdly, we were very concerned that the vistas of prosperity was not betrayed. So therefore, uh, there was an unavoidable conflict within the government on account of the popularity that Gotabe had gave him too much confidence that he can decide on all affairs. Then, on the other hand, they had Basil Rajapaksa deciding on all affairs related to finance and economics. Then we had Mahinda Rajapaksa uh, unable to intervene. Why is that? Who was our bet? Mahinda was a person with whom we worked for a long time. Yeah. From his young days, he was in parliament and we knew him from then. And we had these credentials thoroughly proven. But Mahinda became inactive after Gotabe got elected. Either Gotabe did not want to listen to Mahinda and Basil did not want to carry on continuously with the thinking of Mahinder. 